fifth graders, welcome back. So for your next assignment, we're going to be drawing animals that live in the rainforest. Um, my students in person are going to be drawing on black paper, on black construction paper. And they are going to have the choice of painting or using oil pastels. Those of you at home, any kind of paper is fine with me. So this is an example of they're using the big paper and this is an example done uh, with the tempera paint and next we have an example done with oil pastels so you can see the same animal but they look a little bit different depending on what they use to color with uh, so for this assignment I would like to see five animals which five animals? That's up to you. They can be birds, they can be butterflies, they could be monkeys, they could be uh, frogs, any animal that you think of when you think of the rainforest. So, besides your animals, I would like to see some trees, grass, and uh, whatever else you would like to include in your picture. So, to show you some more examples, And if you decide to do it on black construction paper, you can draw with regular pencil or you can use, uh, lots of my students are going to be using white color pencils to draw it so they can see it a little bit better. So you can see this one has a spider, a butterfly, a frog, a monkey. Uh, you could do bears, like a panda bear if you want to, uh, snakes would be a good choice. You can see like these vines, but you could draw another one and instead of it being a vine, it can be a snake in the sky, kind of like camouflage. This student used a combination of oil pastels and uh, paint, so. Another example. So we got a couple of fish, we got a butterfly, we got this tree branch and a snake wrapped around there. So you decide which animals you would like to include in your project. So uh, this is going to be a two week assignment. So my students that are in person the first week, they're going to be only drawing. The second week is when they add the color with paint or oil pastels, but uh, those of you in, uh, at home, you're gonna have two weeks to get this project done. So, take your time. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, attend one of my Zoom meetings and ask all the questions you would like to get your answers. So, it's gonna be a little bit harder little bit more of a challenge but I know you all can do it so uh, make sure you take a picture and send it through Schoology I can't wait to see what y'all come up with thanks for watching